welcome to the fifth video of the series. This week, we are going to look at expressions and conditionals. Link to the previous videos is in the description. What are Boolean expressions? What in the world is a Boolean? Don't let the name scare you. Boolean simply means that it can have either one of two values. In this case, true or false. In programming, a Boolean expression is an expression that is either true or false. For example, if the space bar pressed is a Boolean expression, it can only be either true if the button is pressed or false if not. There are many different expression blocks that we can use as conditions. You can find them in sensing and operations groups. It's easy to identify them as they have long diamond shape. The sensing group has everything related to computing inputs and our program state. Like the expressions we need to detect key presses. Operators group has all the expressions that we need to compare different values and variables. What are conditionals? Conditionals are powerful statements in programming. They allow us to control the flow of a program based on the conditions we want. This can execute certain sets of instructions if the condition is true or another set if it's false. There are two main conditional blocks under the control group. If then block is the most basic type of them. It will execute the set of instructions within its body if the expression or condition is true. The if then else block takes an extra set of instructions under its body. This set of instructions only get executed if the condition is not true. This is very useful when we need to perform different sets of instructions when the condition is true or false. The best way to understand them is by seeing them in action. Let's start with the start event. We use a forever loop to keep this program running continuously and keep checking our conditions. First we need an if then else statement. We use the key press block from the sensing group to check if the right arrow is pressed. We put the code we need to make Toby move to the right, onto its then section. This will get executed if the condition is true. If the condition is not true, it will execute the else section. Here, we are going to use an if then block to check whether the left arrow key is pressed. In its then section, we put the code which needs to move Toby to the right if the condition is true. Now let's run this and see. When we press the right arrow, Toby moves to the right. He moves to the left if the left arrow is pressed. Cool. That's it for today then. Bye for now. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this video.